my voice sounds weird is because I'm sick, because kids have a lot of germs. And when you work with kids from 9 to 5, you're bound to get sick. And it sucks. I'm sorry. House in New York? Nope, Los Angeles. To New... No. Why do I keep saying New York? Because I want to go to New York. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my booktube athon TBR. I know I've been saying I'm not participating, but then I was like, you know what? I want to do it, so we're going to do it. Realistically, probably going to get zero books done because I work full time, but you know, your girl can try. Probably will fail, but YOLO, okay? So if you don't know, the booktube -thon was created by Ariel Bissett, and it's going to be running from July 18th at midnight to July 24th at midnight. And there's a whole bunch of reading challenges and video challenges that are going to be put up. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the links down below and you can definitely check that out if you want to participate. So without further ado, let us get started! So the first reading challenge is to read a book with yellow on the cover. And for this challenge, I'm going to be reading Through the Zombie Glass by Jenna Showalter, And this is the second book in the white rabbit chronicles. I read the first one back in December and I really liked it. I think I gave it like a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. But I figured, you know, there's yellow and like the entire book is yellow and there's yellow on the cover and whatnot. So you know, it counts and therefore I'm going to try to read it. Is it going to happen? Probably not. The second reading challenge is to read a book only after sunset and I figured I could just do that with any of the books. So I'm not even picking a book for it. Deal with it. The third reading challenge is to pick a book that you learned about through booktube and I am going with Everything That Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This was on my July TBR, so I have to read it anyway, so I might as well do it for the booktube -thon. It's about a girl named Emmy who goes and lives in her brother's flat in Los Angeles, and his only reason for letting her go is if something exciting happens there. Her friend Charlotte and her go to a garage sale kind of thing, and they find this letter from an old movie star, and it sets them off on this adventure. And that's really all I know about it. I've heard amazing things about it. So I figured why not read it and it's on my July TBR anyway, so get her done. It's not gonna happen. The fourth reading challenge is to read a book by one of your favorite authors. This is one of my new favorite authors and it is Cassandra Clare and I'm going to be reading Clockwork Prince. I just finished City of Glass yesterday. Oh my god, best book in the series so far. I am in love with it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And apparently you're supposed to read this one next and then the two other Infernal Device trilogy books. So, might as well start this one, see how far I can get, and I'm very excited about it. Is it gonna get done? Probably not, that's the catchphrase of this video. Challenge number five is a read a book that's older than you. I'm cheating with this, and I don't care what anybody says, because so many people have been on my butt to read this book, so I feel like nobody's gonna say anything. But, but it is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Mo Molly, this one's for you. This was released in 1997. I was born October 29th. 1995. So, you know, two years, we're gonna pretend because it's wizardry, it's okay. And I feel like because it's Harry Potter, no one's gonna say shit. So there you go, this book is gonna be older than me. And I'm gonna read it. Maybe. Probably not, I'm sorry Molly, but it's at least on my TBR. The sixth challenge is to read a book to movie adaptation, and I'm going to try to read The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I said this last booktube that it was going to be my book to movie adaptation. Did it happen? Clearly not. So clearly we're on a good record of JN actually completing her TBRs for the booktube -thon. I'm sorry. We're going to see if it happens. But uh, this is about a girl who gets kidnapped, and that's all I really remember about the story. Yeah. And the final seventh challenge is to read seven books. Realistically, I'm not even going to get one done, so we're not even going to go there. Alright guys, so that was my booktube -thon TBR video. Probably not going to get any of the books done. Maybe one if I'm lucky. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. And Charlotte. Is that her name? It is. Her hand.